Hello everyone! In this video, I'm going to show you a very simple way to measure your house's facing and sitting directions. The method for measuring a standalone house and apartment is a bit different, because for apartment, you need to measure the directions of the building as well as your unit in order to conduct feng shui analysis. Today, I'll show you how to measure both the house and apartment's directions step by step. Let's jump right in. What is a house's facing and sitting direction? Think of a house like a person. The front entrance is the face of a house and where active energy enters. The direction that the front door faces is the facing direction, while the sitting direction is the opposite of the facing direction. For feng shui practitioners, we use a Chinese luo pan compass to measure the facing and sitting directions. Since not many people would have a Chinese luo pan at home, we can still use a compass or phone app to measure the directions. Now I will show you a simple way to measure your house's sitting and facing directions using your phone. Let's first look at standalone houses. Step 1. You need to stand outside your house. Step 2. Stand 2 or 3 meters away from your front door. Step 3. Make sure you are directly facing your front door. Step 4. Use your front door as a reference to form a 90 degrees angle. Step 5. Hold your compass or your phone steady on your palm. And make sure the compass or the phone is flat and parallel to the ground. The reading showing on your compass or phone is the house's sitting direction. In this example, the sitting direction of the house is 281 degrees west. Once we know the accurate sitting direction, we would be able to know the facing direction, which is 101 degrees east. This is how we measure the house sitting and facing directions using the phone. A lot of people measure the directions inside the house or with the back to the front door. If you do it this way, the compass reading may not be accurate because it's hard to find a reference point. It's only when you stand outside and looking towards your front door, you are able to use the front door as a reference point to ensure you are directly facing the door. There are also cases where the main door is not facing the street but on the side of the house. If that's the case, you need to use the garage door to measure the sitting direction because it's where the active energy can get into a house. Now let's have a look at how to measure the directions of an apartment. For apartment, you need to measure the sitting and facing direction of your building and your unit. Using the same steps for measuring houses, first, you need to stand outside your apartment building and two or three meters away from main entry of the building. Make sure you're directly facing the main entry to form a 90 degrees angle. Then hold your compass or your phone steady on your palm to measure the sitting direction of the building. In this example, the sitting direction is 33 degrees northeast. Then we would know the facing direction is 213 degrees southwest. Next, we need to measure the directions of your unit. To measure the directions of your unit, we use exactly the same steps. But this time, you need to stand outside your unit's front door. Make sure you're 2 or 3 meters away from your front door. Directly facing your front door, and form a 90 degrees angle. Using the same methods, we can now measure the sitting direction of your unit. So these are the steps of how to measure the facing and sitting directions using your phone. If you like my video, please like, comment and share. If you need personalized feng shui analysis, please visit my website www.clarazfengshuicafe.com. See you next time.